speech online, believe it or not, in the last year has become more free, not less free. Of course. It's one of the few mm -hmm. things in society that's of actually course. heading the right direction, yeah. which is why they have to try to get this Restrict Act passed. The Restrict Act in D.C. where they're saying it's going to ban TikTok, it's all nonsense. What they're trying to do is create a per precedent or a prerequisite to make speech less free online. We as people that love America and believe in dialogue and a free and open internet mm -hmm. have actually had a pretty good 18 months. They're going to try to use the bipartisan hatred of TikTok as a way to try to ban Telegram, Rumble, and Twitter. All three of them have foreign components. Telegram was founded by a Russian, Rumble was founded in Canada, and Twitter has shareholders like the Saudis that own shares. Under the Restrict Act, the Secretary of Commerce could ban all three based on what they're about to give the power to. And it's probably going to pass, thankfully, because we're sounding the alarm on it. It's the Patriot Act on steroids. For social media companies. Yeah, look, it's right there. I mean, that's the actual, that's literally the quote. And that's Salon.com, which is a communist rag that even agrees with me. I mean, I hate TikTok. I think it's digital fentanyl. But I think that we're going to have to live with TikTok being a thing, maybe sold to an American company and onshore. That would be the best solution. Because giving D.C. unprecedented censorship authority in a time when the Internet is becoming freer would be a big mistake. You think TikTok should be banned? Is that something? In the ideal world, of course, yes. But we, we have to also look in reality where you give DC a little bit of this power, they're gonna use it to ban us in another way. I think TikTok is bad for society and bad for humanity, but I don't always get what I want. So I'd rather have a free open internet with mm -hmm. this really bad app that hopefully can be on board in America because they will try to use the same power to then restrict Telegram, Rumble, or Twitter. But is there, is there this yearning for this what, you, what, what act is it called? The Restrict Act? Oh, yeah. No, it's, it has is 21 co-spans. Okay. 21 who, co-sponsors. Who's leading that? Um, Republicans and Democrats. You can look at the co-sponsors. There's more Republicans, actually, than Democrats sponsoring it. Um, Lindsey Graham, Shelley Moore Capito, Susan Collins. You can go through all the co-sponsors. Or John Thune is the main Republican. If I, yep, there it is. John Thune. And then uh, Tammy Baldwin from Wisconsin. I'm super cynical and jaded. Anytime you have mass bipartisan support for anything in D.C. means a lot of lobbyists are pushing for something that's probably going to be bad for the country and our freedom. I hate to be so jaded, but that's just a general rule. And there's exceptions, obviously. I mean, there's some opioid stuff that's passing. That's some good legislation. This is confirmation of the rule, though. This is an awful piece of legislation um, that would make our ability to speak online highly restricted because it's literally in the name. The Restrict Act. So what could they do to companies? So uh, forget TikTok. What could they do to a rumble? Shut what could they do to... That's, read the bill. It's on, it, they could police our speech. It is Patriot Act 2.0 using the guise of foreign adversaries, giving all the power to the Secretary of Commerce, who no one really knows who she is. She's Gina Raimondo. It's fine. It could be anybody. But effectively delegating that authority to say if there's any sort of foreign policy concern we can then use that power to close down the app, restrict their activity, or monitor the activity. And you could just imagine, and by the way, the people pushing this are the tech companies, Google and Facebook. And I said, well, why would Google and Facebook push this? Well, Google is being threatened via YouTube shorts with TikTok. Facebook is being threatened on Instagram by TikTok. But Facebook wants more than that. Facebook would love to be able to ban Telegram because people would use WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. This is all blatant mm -hmm. cronyism disguised as a bipartisan bill to try to stop the CCP from mining our kids' data. We should try to do something to fix that. Make them onshore it, sell it to an American company. The idea of giving the federal government censorship powers of a social media app, mm -hmm. I think it's a really bad idea.